in yoga tradition is chanting is very powerful tool not only yoga tradition any oldest spiritual path every religion every tradition and this singing or chanting is a very big part and very secret so this is the chanting you can do individually but also chanting in the group is bring very different energy very strong is multiplies chanting on or singing on biologically also have its effect and also when you singing and chanting or making a mantras that you are corresponding to the universal vibration or talking to through the vibration to the divine so biologically is uh, whatever you say is reform your physical body whatever you word you say is work on the chemistry of your brain also when we chant it is effect our liquid form of our body we have about 70% in our body is water and water have the quality to absorb the sound vibration when you say it change the molecule level of your body or or the water what we have and is scientifically has been approved many times but recently there was a japanese a scientist imoto he wrote a, a book message from water and whatever you say it changed the molecule level of the water and then he scientifically he proved and uh, that's why in yogic tradition chanting is the very big part and chanting actually is changing your 70% because of the water if you change the water where is the all liquid and all chemistry and is balance by chanting you can balance that chemistry of your brain and that is the all keep you balance and grounding your hormones and everything is work better chanting also have two big effect one is in your physical body one is in your subtle body when you are singing or chanting is become more subtle and subtle and is become that subtle and subtle is become more stronger and is stronger so we have four way of chanting one is when we say things so like in group everybody can hear it second one just like a whispering hmm? i'm singing and you could hear but it's very little just whispering third one your tongue is moving only as subtle you get as stronger your chanting vibration is become stronger and fourth one is your tongue is not moving ajpa jap it is called your inner self your subconscious mind is chanting for you you are become listener you become witness of it and that is the most powerful chanting it comes from there when that chanting is happen is you sleeping 
or you awake that is going behind of it like when you put the background music it's just going on and that's it's happened when is the mantra went into the subconscious mind then your subconscious minding is repeating it's just supporting supporting every action every thoughts is coming process is happening so that's it the is coming from the that pure vibration what you are chanting when that chanting is happen ajpa jap silently that chanting you not just chanting to yourself your chanting actually that vibration is responding to the cosmic energy direct cosmic energy and depend on the what you are chanting and how much that chant has been done if some mantras and prayers has been chanting from thousands of years and they have the stronger vibration available in that space like whatever word we say or we chant they never die words is always is there mm -hmm. but if you don't know the meaning of the mantra and you are chanting it still work Mm -hmm. because it's the all vibrational base like uh, you eat apple you don't know what is in there <laughs> but body have own process it have its own intelligence body just take care of the vitamins and minerals and everything it just to observe and the same thing is mantra if you know the meaning that's great but if you don't know mantra meaning it still work mm -hmm. because this is the base of the your beyond of the language vibration base of the vibration <clears throat> some mantras are good for everybody and some mantras you need a a teacher to receive that mantra and work on it and that can be the depend on the what is going on what is happening like when you go to the doctor and you see doctor right according to your sickness it right perception what perception prescription prescription thank you and so then you go to the Mm. Pharmacy. Mm, pharmacy thank you pharmacy and then you get that one but some medicine you can get from directly from the pharmacy you don't have to go to see the doctor mm. because this is the made for everybody so then you can take from directly from there so there is some mantras everybody can chant but there is some mantras you need to have to discuss with your teacher to chant and then they are become very powerful because the how you take them how you use them hmm? because it does sound vibration you creating very powerful vibration in your body in your mind and you communicating to the universe with the sound vibration then you need a teacher some mantras are just seed mantra we call om is the seed mantra all of the mantras whoever is there on this planet om after that is the all mantras are came from that om sound mm -hmm. so there is a some particular mantra like a chakras have just seed mantras they just you chant and they work they don't have the exactly meaning they just you create the vibration 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 to just to balance your own vibration because this whole body is working on the base of the vibration every five elements have own vibration then your what you thinking that have the vibration particular organs have his own vibration and so lots of vibration is working to function this physical body and your subtle body so to balance it so there is a 
mantra, chanting, prayer, they are really good for to balance your vibration. So that's why we even before we offer any food to this physical body, we chant a mantra. Its reason is because food have the its own vibration. Before you put the food into this physical body, you want to match that vibration to your body. When is which food is matched to your vibration to and that food is easier to digest, better nutrition you can get out from it, and it's just talking each other before you offer it. And it's something sometime we all notice you eating something and your internal self is saying is not right for you right now. Mm. And that food later doesn't digest properly actually is create the problem. So same thing before that you offer anything to your body you want to have the match with it. Mm -hmm. So you chant a mantra, chanting mantra you helping to change the molecule level of that food quality before you offer and this is become prasad. That's we call prasad, divine blessed food. So we just don't just bunch of thing and um, order and just eating. This is just your body is like a temple. You just don't throwing things in there. So sound is the very big part of the yoga tradition and that's why with the chanting and prayer and mantras and they also have numbers and things so I'm not going in there but there is some you have to chant to get right effect right benefit particular numbers particular mala particular time of the day so all those things work to match to get the 100% benefit of those mantras and things. Yes. That's how we chant. <laughs> <laughs>